Ugh. Don't look at me like that. My breath smells good, okay? Ah! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, um, right now I'm actually at work. Today, I kind of want to, like, just sit down for this video, actually, and really, like, talk to women a little bit more. Because I really don't talk to my girls a lot like that. Well, to the ones that are subscribed to me, at least. I don't really talk to you guys like that about certain things. And I feel like it's a great time right now for me to talk to you about these type of things. You got to listen to Big Sis. I got you. If you stay in the towel, this is actually going to be like a insecure woman holding ourselves accountable. Um, single baby mama type of thing. And how that, that baby mama culture shit is a fucking trap. And I want to really talk to the women who always be like, oh, I want to have a baby. Like, I want some babies. And I'm like, girl, no, you don't. Now, let me explain why. So for my black women who really say that, and I hear it all the time I, out here because, yeah, I hear it out here. And I'm like, best believe you don't want to be a baby mama because black men or just men in general like to manipulate women into the struggle of into the poverty into like one-sided loyalty and that's just actually in general because us women we really think a lot spiritually and emotionally but lately i've just been thinking more logically and just like observing and like just shutting the fuck up because again i tell people a lot you need to listen more than you talk i want to explain to the women who say they want some babies baby i really want you to start vetting the men now if you don't know what that means that means really getting to know them not like their favorite color what kind of car they drive no sweetheart that childhood trauma how is his actions towards you like you see what i'm saying right start vetting these men thinking about different scenarios of like how are they compatible with you not you to them because you are the prize okay you do not want to be a baby mama, okay? I really hate hearing little ass women, like not little ass women, little ass girls, little ladies saying that shit. And I'm like, no, you don't. Because I'm a single mother of two twin boys that are autistic. And like, I'm not, I don't have any government assistance besides their own social security. And I do not use that on, like, I do not try and use that like at all because that is their money. And mind you, child support's a bitch. A lot of these motherfucking systems like to try and like put like basically have people depend on them instead of like trying to make generational wealth okay now that's that on a side note but I really really want to get with my girls and I really want to talk to y'all you need to start protecting your energy and also start listening to your intuition when it comes to these men because these men will also trap your ass especially if they see potential in you okay and most men like they act <laughs> gossiping up like bitches they hide a bitch and you need to understand that you don't want to be a struggling baby mama out here living with your motherfucking parents and shit trying to figure yourself out because you you don't even know yourself okay you don't you're probably like what between whoever is watching this like maybe like what 16 between 25 years old maybe a little lesser than that depending on whatever it is even oh, matter of fact even older women matter of fact i'm, I'm gonna get on them in a, in a split second but let me get into my young women who are here right now watching this you do not want the struggle you don't you do not want this baby mama struggle because one once you have that baby that baby is your main priority there's no trying to find out who you are there's no traveling like that until maybe a little bit older but that's besides the point you may be looking at your support system you probably realize that you don't have the same support system that you have like friends who are supposed to be there are not really there when you really need them especially if they you need a big fucking babysitter and they're not fucking there and they say oh that's my best friend i'm gonna help her and da 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 like, bitch shut up you're not gonna find out who your real friends are until you are at your lowest and that's just straight up facts in relationships when you are really all in love you kind of lose all your you lose your sixth cent sense okay 
and men like to prey off of that they like to manipulate you because they know that you are having childhood trauma issues that resurface you are insecure in yourself like you you do this you check their phone you do this you do that and you don't you should not be doing that because you know fucking why they manipulate you one because you allow it and two baby you have nothing going on you have nothing going on for yourself because you're so focused on that motherfucker baby get your life in check and i can't be talking which is why i'm remaining to stay single yes i'm dating but i'm still remaining single only for the simple fact i am not where i want to be just yet i refuse to be dependent on anybody and it's not on no um woman empowerment shit don't get me wrong i'm a girl's girl but at the end of the day i have to hold my women accountable and i have to even hold myself accountable and i would love other people to hold me accountable and help me acknowledge what the fuck i said so i can go ahead and um maneuver my mindset in the way that it will fit for me my beautiful late my beautiful ass women my beautiful ladies i really need you to start taking flight fuck these feelings because right now i really need you to start focusing focusing on yourself i'm not saying to be single for the rest of your life i'm not saying be a bitter betty or a bitter ass woman because you see how these older women are bitter as fuck because they didn't have the same opportunities as you and you are gorgeous now we we also may need to get into the fact that that you know the older women are like some older women are not navigating the younger generation from what they learned prior before in applying that lesson you know you know what i'm saying right like basically how these old bitter ass betties are not doing what the fuck they need to do to to shape this new generation coming up and it kind of makes me upset because a lot of people was just like you know you just like let them do them i'm like why would i let that be the case i am an influence like I am, well, how old am I? I'm 27 years old, about to be 28 in like some weeks. And I'm sitting here and I'm just listening and I'm just observing and I'm just looking at these old, older women who are older than me and I see childish ass behavior and I'm just sitting here like, you, you tolerate too much for me. I just get so aggravated when I be hearing like all types of bullshit around me oh i want some babies and you're only what 23 22 24 years old want some babies and you haven't even went outside your own city yet and i'm not talking about like not only just like outside of the state or the united states i'm talking about even overseas i get so hurt because the older women that i know are still trying to get through their childhood traumas and it's just they keep reverting back and i'm just like at some point when are you going to take accountability for certain shit that you're heard about stop tolerating bullshit from these men stop being insecure within yourself and knowing how to be confident in yourself and knowing that you're the baddest bitch on your block not my block though but your block please vet men please hold yourself accountable for your own mistakes and past relationships and know when to move forward mind y'all again like if you haven't watched my previous videos which you should by the way and like and subscribe to this you know channel um in my last relationship that relationship taught me a lot and i'm glad it did because now if i look at if i even ever saw that one i would have been like <laughs> hell bitch who are you because like i don't know you after that like i don't know any of my exes like you don't exist to me because i'm like I will look at you like a piece of shit. Like, I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know nobody from my past because I'm like, I apply those lessons, but I don't know you after that. When I met, I am not going to lie. I saw a cup. I saw red flags immediately, but it wasn't actually until the second date. And in that second date, oh God, I knew I should have just left that day, but I didn't have a car at that time. I asked some type of question that was really, really deep. And I like to ask deep questions to people because I want to see if I can hit your fucking core. Well, this person, this person starts bawling immediately on the second date. We went bowling. I just asked the question. What in the hell are you even fucking crying? When I realized when this person is drunk, ain't even healed from your traumas and you want to be with me? Yeah.
And you know what? Someone told me, let me just pick this shit. I ended up actually giving a, a little bit of a fuck later and like just trying to like help this person like work through their own shit without me even really like interfering too much and even then that's still fixing shit don't even try to even fix a man don't try and fix anybody they need to fix their own shit because they are responsible for their own happiness and so are you like i'll get into another story time about that whole relationship and what i experienced and what i learned from that because of that narcissistic relationship really molded me into who i am right now and i am so happy that person is out of my life i don't give a fuck like i haven't given a fuck about anybody because i give a fuck about myself and my kids and my family like that is my whole entire spiel and i even be telling people who i'm dating right now i be telling them the same thing i'm like don't worry about me texting do not worry about anything because i'm not worried about you i'm worried about what the fuck i got going on like what are the areas that i am neglecting in my life instead of worrying about you you see what i'm saying and that was actually a lesson that that person taught me my ladies who say they want some babies like this kind of goes and kind of like correlates into like baby mama culture and how to uh, like vetting the man that you are dating or thinking about having kids with and speaking of which i know some women who want to have kids because they are fucking lonely they do not even know how to be by themselves they don't know how to really love themselves they don't even know what they like because they've dealt with people and have given themselves so much to people who don't genuinely give a fuck and they see the shit like you reveal so much they start figure skating with all that shit and using you as like settling bag like a fucking placeholder and you're not a placeholder baby if you see the actions and you still ignore it because you are lonely baby there's a problem like get it together and you know what there's this quote in this book men don't believe they mislead women women mislead themselves and you know what that's the most truest shit in the world baby i understand that you know like you want someone there and you want to have someone else but baby get yourself together and i'm not even like get your basic necessities like get your own apartment get your own car um go out and travel find out what you like what is it that you don't like what you like sexually like maybe learn how to please yourself man. i mean i don't know that baby mama culture is a trap and these men like to do that they like to manipulate women there's not a lot of strong not no toxic masculinity shit there's not a lot of logical women out here anymore because people only see a fairy tale. Like, people only see a fairy tale in regards to love. Like, it's supposed to be perfect. No, it's not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be times where you are depressed, or this motherfucker is depressed, or this is a this, and this is that. When you start focusing more on yourself and your kids and worrying about yourself, trying to get your fucking skincare together like shit i am like i'm still trying like shit i'm on i'm on my i'm on my cycle right now so right now i'm just pmsing like a motherfucker and healing's not gonna be overnight it's not it's gonna take work sometimes it takes years luckily for me i learned the lesson and i apply it and it takes me a little bit less than others because sometimes people who are really in their 60s and up matter of fact 50s and all the way up who people are who way older than me are still not using or utilizing the resources that we have today to help them move forward and then maneuver their own children grandchildren great great grandchildren and all this other shit because they haven't healed from it shit hell let me give you an example i'm not gonna lie matter of fact let me just say it. it's my own grandmother my grandmother and this is very common like this is very common nowadays okay my own grandmother was in i don't know how long she was married to my grandfather when they divorced i'm not gonna tell y'all all their business my grandmother still harbors a lot of pain from her past and mind you she was born in 1948 so she you know she went through segregation uh a lot of shit okay a lot of that shit is not healed whatsoever which is you know an understandable thing because it's painful but unfortunately people are afraid to uh, heal and that's the most fucked up part like there was a lot of shit that was harbored and me flourishing into the woman i am and my grandmother seeing this it kind of makes it makes her kind of bitter because once she divorced from my grandfather she saw like her, her whole entire life flash before her eyes and it's kind of just like 
damn, I wasted a lot of time and now I don't have this time back and I'm just mad about it. And she doesn't do anything about it. So that's how a lot of older women think, okay? And you don't wanna be one of those women. You don't wanna be a baby mama at a young age at all, not knowing yourself, dealing with the man who's fucking constantly cheating and shit. Cause like I know other marriages have gone through that. So most marriages have gone through that and I've seen it. I don't want to go through that. So thank God my mother never pushed me to marry my baby father because had that happened, he and I, he and I were both toxic to each other. Women, we also need to hold ourselves accountable. We have to understand that we put ourselves in certain situations knowing damn well our intuition is the strongest superpower that we have as women in general. Just please don't get trapped by a, a crazy ass man because I hear so many crazy ass baby daddy fucking situations constantly over and over and over again. The baby daddy's not leaving the baby mamas alone. The baby mamas are worried about what the baby daddies are doing. And I'm sitting here like, fucking focus on your own shit right now. Fuck that nigga right now. Fuck that bitch right now. Because right now, you need to get yourself mentally, mentally better. Like, stable. Mentally stable. Get yourself mentally stable. Hopefully, this wasn't all over the place, but it makes sense that how the baby mama culture is kind of like correlating into what I basically just said about how men... Uh, need to be held accountable how you need to be holding holding your own self accountable and knowing to apply the situation from that situation and moving it forward please please do not have kids unless one you are financially ready two two you are mentally prepared and ready for it do not let these men trap you do not even try and trap these men because I know some women will even try it as well. If you see inconsistency, you need to fucking leave because uh, I damn for sure. I let them know. I don't entertain inconsistency from anybody. That means friends, men, family, myself. I don't even, I don't even let myself be inconsistent the only time i really be inconsistent is if i'm completely over the bullshit hopefully this really made sense please be careful look at the actions of the people you are dating be cautious please look at, don't lis listen more than you talk use your discernment use your intuitive discernment to justify if this person is compatible with you or not because being a baby mama is not the easiest it's not i hate being a baby mama i hate it because had I listened to my intuition the first time, I bullshit y'all not, I probably would have been farther off more ahead and I would have probably been fucking famous as fuck and not having this person dwindle my confidence, make me feel ugly. No, and then well, I'm not, I'm cute. <laughs> and I would have been following my dreams and my dream, I'm not gonna say what it is because if I did like, it would have been so pessimistic and people would have been like, oh, you would never be that. People still say I wouldn't be. I'm like, you don't know what I'm doing behind the scenes first. I don't know what else to really say except for hopefully this made sense. Hopefully this correlated. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Please follow me on follow me on all of my socials. My Snapchat is my Snapchat is right here. And my Instagram is also right here as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys gained something from this. Um uh tune in for my next video next week i'm excited for that one i think that one's gonna be so much fun literally uh i'll catch y'all in another video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl all right